Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options and your morning market preparation video for July 24th, 2017. Well, this is our last full trading week of July. And so far, the bulls have just been strong, 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 rallying up uh, much stronger, or stronger than I would have expected. But... Um, that's an awesome thing. Uh, right way options. We took some great profits last week. So let's do our job this week. Make sure that we're choosy on the trades that we take and hold on to those returns. We don't want to give that money back to the market. So first off, taking a look at the diamonds here quickly. Diamonds held a key support level on Friday. It looked like we were kind of in trouble early in the day. But the, the bull stepped back in and picked this market back up. Buying was going on into the close. Now, we do have a little bit of a concern this morning with futures being just slightly down. But I got to be honest with you, a little bit of rest here would probably be a great thing for the market. As long as it holds key support levels. If we start drifting back below key support levels, then there's going to be some um, serious concern. But if we continue to hold key support levels and those buyers continue to show strength, that they're going to hold these, these prices and not allow the bears to, to step back in, you know, get their nose back in the tent, then we're going to be in great shape. So Right now, it's all about that support. Now, a lot of things can happen here this week. And the reason is we've got a tremendous amount of earnings coming out. You know, it kind of started as a trickling creek, you know, over the last week or so of earnings coming out. And it's going to turn into a truly a raging river of reports um, this week and for the next couple, three weeks. So today we only have 76 companies reporting, but then it ramps up quickly to nearly 500 by Thursday. So lots of um, earnings numbers will be coming out. It's going to be imperative that you're paying attention to those earnings reports and that you are making a plan. If you hold that company or if you're thinking of buying that company, have a plan how you are going to deal with that earnings report. Okay. Now, for the most part, um, and for new folks, it's best to just avoid that earnings report. Those earnings reports can are completely unpredictable. And it's not so much about the report, it's how how investors, how traders react to that report that's, a, that's key. So it's very easy. It, it's really nothing more than a gamble if you're trading in those earnings reports. So be very, very careful. On the economic calendar, we have PMI composite numbers this morning. They're expected to soften just a little bit. And then existing home sales um, comes out at, at 10 o'clock. So at 9.45 PMI, 10 o'clock Eastern time is the existing home sales. Now, existing home sales has also come in a little bit soft for the spring. But nothing bad. Everything is showing growth, just probably a little bit less than what we'd like to see when it comes to overall growth. Futures are, again, currently pointing to just slightly down this morning. And if we take a look at the SPY, you can see we have some really important levels here that the SPY needs to kind of hold on to. Right now, I'm going to place a price support right about here. And that'll be the first kind of level of defense where the bulls need to defend that level. Any pullback into here is perfectly fine. Um, if we breach that, this level right here will be extremely critical that, hold, that we hold. If we start breaking back down below those levels, we're going to have some problems, I think, or some serious concerns with the overall market. Um, there's that trend. And that needs to hold right in there. Okay. Um, and right now we're showing a little bit of pullback this morning. Nothing terrible. Nothing too worrisome there. The Qs remained remarkably strong on Friday. 
just held up here trying to hang on to this level and as a matter of fact just barely eked out um, a break above this day here when we broke out so incredibly strong and now it's going to be really important that this holds now I would suspect uh, in fact it would be healthy for the market to pull back for the cues to pull back so any pullback into here shouldn't be seen as overly bearish as long as this area holds if we start breaching down through these levels however well that just becomes a major concern and looks an awful lot like a double top so be really really careful here okay pay attention to what this price action is telling us and where it's going now the the index that i have probably the most concern over is iwm and iwm finally started to participate with the market breaking out of this really strong resistance level but now on friday we leave behind kind of an evening star type pattern a bearish evening star type pattern so it's going to be extremely critical that IWM is defended we need to see buyers step in here holding this price level now if you look right here this morning it shows that we're going to dip below that area that's okay as long as the bulls step back in and defend it if we actually have a full-on failure pattern here breaking back down through the support and we can't get right back above here and hold it then i have some concerns here on the iwm so watch watch the small cap indexes here um and you might want to well this morning i think my plan is going to be give the market 20 30 minutes at least before i make any trade decisions I want to see how they're going to react to this little bit of a bearish move that today. I want to see them hold. I want to see the bull stepping in. I want to see that battle going on. Um, I want to be a little bit cautious and careful at buying, just blindly buying at highs. And the reason is, when I look at the VIX, what I see here is extreme complacency. Okay, We have dipped below here before. But I can tell you, it's been a long time since we've been down here. And notice what happens when we, and this is a monthly chart, by the way. Look what happens. Uh, what wrong, wrong tool. Look what happens when we dip down here. What's happened in the past is we have seen that complacency turn into absolute fear pretty quickly. All right, so watch that closely. If we start to show failure patterns, we could see fear well up in the market pretty quickly. And remember how quickly, how fast, how swift that sentiment can change. Okay, just wham. So be very careful about your trades um, as we, you know, test these areas down here of complacency. Um, I personally will be watching closely for any signs of failure patterns to adjust my uh, trading. So I'm really pleased that we have taken off positions or took off the positions that we took off this week that we have, um, you know, we've just been in great, great trades here where we've been able to um, um, not... Um, have to deal with um, these uh, big shifty moves. We've been on the right side of those trades most of the time. We've been um, largely uh, protected in our trades. That could change real quickly, and we want to make sure we hold on to those profits as we move forward. Okay? All right, everyone, have a great day. Um, if this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click 
if you're watching this on Facebook, click that follow button so you'll receive this information every day. You'll be notified when I put it out. And I do put it out every day as part of my preparation for the trading day. Every single day. And I just share it. I'm not trying to sell anything. Just trying to uh, pass that information along and help people be more prepared in their trading. Everyone have a great day. Right way options. Normal time today. And I will talk to you all soon. Take care now.